Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Farming Simulator 19 on the Orbital Let's Play map. In the previous episode we prepared ourselves in order to maximize the yield of our grass field and I've already went ahead, took my subsoiler in order to plow the entire field. So the field is plowed, we still might have to fertilize it. If we check in the precision farming tab, there is nothing to be seen just yet except the yield from the previous harvest. So it is time to analyze it. In order to do that, I most possibly have to borrow some money. Yeah, let's borrow 10k or so, we can pay it back immediately. But this thing right here, the analyzer, is what we're gonna use to kick things off. We want to go ahead, lower this and also unfold it. The map zooms a little bit closer and we can see the circle of influence. And now we basically have to cover the entire field with probes. So if I just move the tractor so we still cover the field and then I take a sample with B, we should be able to later send this probe to the lab for analysis. The reason I borrowed some money is because I believe this process actually is gonna cost me something. Well, uh, let's see how many probes we have to take in order to cover the entire field. So yeah, you want to be efficient and not do it nilly-willy because it's gonna cost you something. Like if I move right here in the dead center, I should be able to cover the entire field. And now I can just work myself down. I imagine this procedure is gonna be particularly annoying once we are actually doing the large fields. <laughs> But I think it's fun and it makes the game a little more interesting and realistic. Alright, I believe with that out of the way we took all the probes for this field. Let's go ahead and hit the Y button. Actually, I need to check. Ah, it's the Z button, of course. The soil samples are now sent to the laboratory for analysis. You will see the results on the soil types map soon. Good stuff, we're gonna fold this guy again, bring it up and then I guess I'm just gonna place it somewhere to store until I need it again. Ah, there we go. It actually cost me 1,100 euros to analyze those samples, so 100 euro per sample. I'm just gonna put this right there, and the next thing we want to pick up is the cedar right there. I want to make sure my loading waypoints for the cedar actually work, so what we are gonna do is uh, we need to pick up and deliver. Yeah, we basically want to go ahead to the farm and we want to load some fertilizer, the solid version right there, because the seeds come first and then the fertilizer. And then we want to head to field 30 start. Let's do that. It should first go in front of those two silos. Hopefully we are not too thick in order to get past this. Oh, thankfully the pipe has no collision box. Okay, and now slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay, okay slow, slow, okay, stop. Oh no, the pipe does have a collision detection. Okay, another problem we have to solve, bringing this waypoint a little further over. And now going past here, going past there, slow down, open up. Okay, that might actually work out. Wait, okay, third attempt is the charm. Slow down, open up. Oh, this is the wrong cover. Ah, okay, it should open up both covers. I now set it to reload the seeds. I wonder if it opens up the right cover. It should be the first cover that it opens. And it is opening the back cover. Oh no. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I mean, I know it functions with the large cedar. And this cedar might actually have enough stuff in it in order to do the entirety of the grass field. So I wouldn't mind filling this up myself in the beginning. However, this is not a permanent solution. Everything that cannot be completely automated is not for me. Actually, by now the samples should be analyzed, right? And we can actually see the soil types. At the moment we only have sandy loam and loam. However, that also means the pH level isn't optimal. And that is actually something we can change by liming the field. So that's gonna be the next thing I'm doing. We're gonna grab our brand spanking new lime spreader. And I want to test the same thing out here. However, instead of fertilizer, we want to load the lime. I've already got some lime in there. And this is hopefully going to work a little bit better. Since this is only one material we have to load up, there should be no confusion here. Open up the cover, please. Thank you. Okay, that's looking good. Okay, it's not looking that good because the cover is going to get in the way of this pole, isn't it? Um, yeah, no way we're getting through there. Oh, actually we do. There's no hitbox. Wonderful. And it still <laughs> isn't working. Oh my gosh, don't do this to me. Oh, I'm an idiot. This was the wrong mode. Of course we want to load something and bring it to field 30. That makes much more sense. Okay, this should now work. 
But there we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Liming up. So at least that is working out for us. You know, maybe while we do this, we should go ahead, pick up our truck and do some more deliveries. I believe I should have some in my fermenter to deliver. Let's see. Yeah, there's another three loads or so of silage to get away. Silage at the moment, not the best of prices. Let's actually check out the lime. Maybe we have more luck here. Also, not really what I was hoping for. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wait it out a little bit and just take care of the field now. Now, since we analyzed everything, we know exactly how much lime we need. If we unfold the spreader here, the map should zoom closer again and tell us just how much we need. Yeah, there we go. I had to drive on the field a little bit and now you can see the pH levels on this field. If we just hit the F1 menu, we can also see in real time what's happening and it's gonna automatically apply as much lime as is required. You could do this manually if you wanted. However, this goes a little too far for my taste. So what I'm gonna do instead is set up a route with course play. Field 30, we're gonna do one headland and then we should be good. Yeah, this should already give us a nice course. We can actually use auto drive in order to reload the lime, but I think it's gonna be enough. And uh, let's do it and see what happens. I'm actually going to open up the F1 menu so we can see how much is actually applied to the field. Okay, wonderful. That already looks much, much better if you ask me. And now if I just hop out of here and check this out. pH value is perfect. 6.5 out of 6.5. Nitrogen isn't doing well just yet. However, that is going to come with the fertilization process. So even though this mod takes a little time in order to get set up, in the end, you are actually saving the lime that you don't necessarily need to apply. Yeah, this field is just intensely annoying with course play, I have to admit. I have to drive in all the courses myself for the different equipment. But here we go. I'm gonna be right back as soon as we are finished liming this field. Alrighty, we are completely done liming the field. You can see the pH value is perfect. And even in these spots where it doesn't seem to be limed, it is actually perfect. And the lime wagon just didn't lime there. Now, of course, nitrogen levels are pretty bad in some spots. It's not perfect just yet, but that is gonna change. We're gonna bring it up to a certain level, then we're gonna sow the field. And with that out of the way, we're ready to get this started. I've already set up the auto drive course. Let's go ahead and enable this. And once we have the grass on there, we know more about the specific nitrogen level we actually require. The pH level is related to the soil type, so we don't need to know anything about the crop we're planting but the nitrogen level is a different story. So right now I can see I have grown field and in some spots it's already the perfect level. That technically means I don't need to fertilize it a second time at least in these spots, but it's probably not gonna be a perfect level all the time. Well, we'll have to check about that anyways. In the meantime, I'm selling some more silage. I decided to still do it even though the prices aren't the best. Well, 27k is not too bad. I'm definitely taking it. This also means we can immediately pay back the loan, not borrow, we want to repay. We should now also be able to judge on the map. The pH level is pretty good, it's what it is supposed to be. And then the nitrogen level should be better or getting greener. Well, it is actually not an indication whether or not it's perfect, it's just going to be a number. But you can see here the green strip, it's actually working. In the meantime, we can have a look at the chickens. Actually, if we look right here, their cleanliness is going down and this is also decreasing their productivity. So soon enough, we will have to think about a solution here. Maybe just a skid steer and we can use it for both the cow shed as well as the chicken coop. Yeah, this might be the best solution. Skid steer loaders. I just love these guys. We can probably go with the cheaper one, 35k, at least we will be able to afford that soon. Yeah, there are no options there, so maybe we can already purchase the attachment. Let's actually see, skid steer attachments right there. And we would want the high dump bucket. Looks like this can pick up almost anything that's on the floor. There's also a pallet fork we might be interested in. And look at that, we can even do some logging with that. Intriguing. But let's purchase the shovel first of all. We can even have this in a nice red color. Sure thing. In the meantime, my truck is selling some more silage. That's good. Let's check out the cedar. Making some progress. Not getting the field absolutely perfectly. But I guess we can do this little rest ourselves. Ah, it looks like the perfect nitrogen level is more of a range. Like here we have 200 kilograms per hectare. Oh, no, actually that is because the soil changes. That's so cool. So it also requires different amounts of nitrogen depending on the soil and the crop. 
There is another cell. Wonderful. This should give us enough money to actually buy that skid steer. There we go. Another 44k in the bank. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for the cheaper option right there. We don't need a lot of horsepower. And apart from the tracked wheels, that is the only difference. Okay, time to get that purchase at the shop. Wonderful. Oh, hold on. Is this the right attachment? This looks rather large for such a small vehicle. But there we go. It actually fits. <laughs> Let's go ahead and bring this guy back home. Paying another worker to actually do it. I wonder, how much lime do we currently have? 179,000 liters. Okay, so until my truck is done, we can actually... Yeah, there we go. It just jumped up. We can sell another three loads of lime. Should help us out in our endeavors to buy even more equipment. Oh, I'm so happy I don't have to drive this thing home myself. 18 kilometers an hour. What a pain in the butt. How are my vehicles doing, by the way? Is anything broken? No, actually 75% is the lowest, so we're doing good. Okay, I guess I'm gonna be right back once I've made some more deliveries and am finished with this field. See ya in a second. Guys, I made an incredible discovery. If we check out the fertilizing plant, there is the fertilizer production, which requires manure or compost. I thought, well, in order to get that, we have to own cows. However, there's a possibility to actually buy it. By the way, don't be confused about the colors. I enabled grass to be shown on the map so I can see the growth stages. But back to business, we want to have a look at the fertilizer seed trader right there. Let's go ahead and teleport there. You can see I've already made a couple of waypoints here. This is the selling station and everything else you can actually buy from here, including the manure. I try to set up waypoints for all of these stations. Of course, eventually everything we want to produce ourselves, but in the meantime, we can take advantage of this. I've already set this up to buy manure over at the trader and to dump it here in my fertilizer plant producing some fertilizer. You can see I've already done one load and once we have some fertilizer, we can actually use that for other things in order to, for instance, produce liquid fertilizer and herbicides, we can also use it in order to produce seeds, which is absolutely wonderful. So my suggestion is to do about three more loads and we're gonna send this guy on his merry way. In the meantime, you can see I've completely finished the field. It is now absolutely perfect. So I'm gonna skip ahead to the first growth stage and see if something changes with the nitrogen level. Just ever so carefully gonna skip time. Go, go away. Though it's probably gonna be nighttime when this happens. Yeah, I might want to adjust these waypoints a little bit. I mean, it is filling up my trailer, but it does look a little bit weird and that's bothering me. Let's see how much 59,000 liters of manure is gonna cost us. Just 1,900 euros. Ah, oh, this is amazing. So now we have the possibility to create that fertilizer. I don't regret buying the fertilizer plant at all. Ah, there we go. Grass has grown and it looks as though the nitrogen level is still perfect. However, just to be sure, I'm gonna grab my fertilizer tank and see if we can actually improve on this or not. Like, it does look a little bit different on this side. Oh, this is already ready to harvest. Whoops. Okay, then let's check out what happens. I'm just gonna enable this and yeah, look at that. It is enabled, you can hear it, but it's not doing anything, which means the nitrogen levels are perfect. This is extremely good news, so the only thing we're waiting for now is a proper growth stage. There's just a little patch that's already grown. And now I basically want to wait for this color right here. This should show up there, and then the grass is ready to harvest. Oh man, I'm already looking forward to this. But yeah, I'm guessing we're gonna have to skip some more time. Maybe I'm just gonna go to the next morning. Uh oh, no more pallet space. Wait, 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 wait. I totally forgot about the chickens. Yeah, I basically brought the skid steer over here and I also purchased myself a pallet fork because I'm really not fond of this contraption here and it's another thing I have to tap through. What do you mean with no more pallet space? There's just, it's just one right there. Uh, maybe I have to move my truck a little bit away. Let's get this guy just a bit further away. Cleanliness is zero. Okay, let's hop into the skid steer and get rid of this food on the ground. Not sure why they can't eat properly. So all we want to do is bring the shovel all the way to the ground and this should technically... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I can literally not pick this up. Let me go ahead and uninstall one of the mods. I installed the broom mod and I suspect maybe this is messing with this. Though, since we're already here, we're gonna wait for my truck to do one more manure delivery. Come on, boy. You can do this. Yes. Wonderful. Ah, what a sight. The best thing is I use this trailer to ship everything, even after 
filling this all up with manure. <laughs> Anyways, time to get rid of the broom moth. I'm gonna be right back. Now, please do me the favor. No! Oh, this makes me so sad. Now I have to ask Google. Okay, I tried picking up some grass from the other field and it also didn't work. And I have an idea, because the grass was laying next to the field, maybe on a plot that we don't own. So what if we went ahead and actually spent the money in order to purchase this? We just need to borrow a bit more money in order to do this immediately. Let me actually bring this back first and then we're gonna test out this theory. Okay, here we are. We can actually do this without any consequences because if it doesn't work, we can just sell back the land for the same amount of money. So there we go. We now have a balance of 300k. We're gonna purchase the farm that we should rightfully own. And now that this land is mine, please, please let me uh, pick this up. Maybe... Oh, come on. Uh, okay, maybe I reacted too soon. We have to spend another 25k in order to purchase this. So that means technically we can sell this again. And we're only gonna purchase this land now instead. And now, please, will you... Yes, okay. Oh man, I'm so glad I got this cleared up now. And now all we have to do is dump this back into the feeding trough. Right there. Oh, actually, maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Ah oh, man. <laughs> oh no, this is gonna bother me quite a bit, isn't it? Yeah, the reason that didn't work is because it was already full. Um, okay, maybe for cases like this, we should reinstall the broom mod. But I can actually get rid of my loan again. Oh, wait a second. I didn't really sell... You cannot sell land while you still own placeable objects. Okay, well, I guess that is a goner then. <laughs> well, we are in debt again. Good to know. Yeah, I think I'm gonna reintroduce the broom mod and purchase myself another broom. That is quite unfortunate. Let me just go ahead and fasten the belts right there and we bring this guy back to the shop. Actually, the belts do nothing for these. <laughs> Maybe I have to stack them up to the point where they would touch the belts. There we go. Let's search for broom. We're gonna purchase one of each. The second broom here is actually to clean up anything on the entire map. So let's maybe make this one white so we know. Got one broom right there. Put that into the pickup. And the other one right there. Okay, eh, come on. Yeah, they have interesting characteristics when it comes to physics. Okay then, let's put this to the test. Can I clean this up, please? Yeah, it's already cleaned. <laughs> Well, that might be the easier solution than with the skid steer, but, you know, we can save a little bit on food and I actually like to play around with the skid steer. It was also much easier to deal with the pallets with this guy. But back to business now, we want to get to this field and let it grow to the highest ready to harvest stage. Well, I waited literally four or five in-game days and nothing changes. It remains at this color, which makes me suspect this is the highest growth rate for the grass. I decided to give the course generation one more try. I think this is not too bad of a pattern. I did not manage to record a course myself properly, so we are gonna attempt that. And in this case, we will also be able to use the loading wagon to complete this. In case something goes wrong, I still have my save game from right now. Okay, there we go. Let's see this happen. I really wonder if it was worth all the trouble. But yeah, we get proper lines. Let's now head back to the chicken coop. You can see we got plenty of eggs from just waiting around and keeping the thing clean. And I figured out that I can stack these guys pretty high up. So if we do something like that and then fasten the belts, you can see this is actually working. So I'm definitely gonna wait just a little bit longer in order to get this in the joint. And I feel like the frame rate at the moment is really bad. I'm gonna have to fix that. Maybe I'm gonna reduce the graphic settings just a tad. But there we go. All the cartons are loaded up. Wonderful. Let's get back to the field. Yeah, looking good so far. We're gonna do two headland passes and then we move up and down and that's usually when it fails. But hopefully this time around, it's not gonna be so much of a pain in the butt. Now, at the moment, the money is not looking good. We can possibly sell some more line. That's probably what we should do. Yeah, look at that, 411,000 liters. We can definitely do a couple of loads. We still have this fresh manure trailer, absolutely wonderful. We want to pick up some lime. And it looks as though we want to sell that at the central market again. Selling point, central market. Good stuff, I'm gonna be able to use that money. I'm gonna start with four loads that should give us the money back in order to repay the loan. Or at least the biggest part of it. 
Actually, look at this. The yield is pretty good. So we are at 125% in some cases, but some of it is just 100%. Okay, well, either way, it's going to be the biggest yield we've had thus far. Back at the central market, making some more money. I was already worried there. But yeah, we're still 170 grand in debt. So far, this is the best course I've generated. There are just a couple of patches he doesn't do. So still not 100% happy. We are certainly improving and getting there. There we go. We have reached the end point. Let's get the loading wagon and see how much of that we can pick up. Usually I got around three or so loading wagons out of this field. Maybe actually not even. It was more like two and a half. So this should now give us a nice comparison. Gonna temporarily dump my equipment here. My loading wagon is supposed to go to field 30. Bring everything to factory silage. And what we want is uh, grass, of course. Then we're gonna open up course play again and I want to make sure the right course is loaded. In this case we want to use auto drive in order to unload or refill. Actually I have to get this fertilizer spreader out of the way. Okay then, let's freaking do this. Drive the course, make me proud. Oh, okay, what, what the heck are you doing man? <laughs> Stop it! Was that really necessary? Okay, in this case, I'm just gonna line it up a little bit better here. And hopefully that is gonna work out. Drive the course. Yeah. Okay, he's doing it. It's actually looking really good with the course. It's even picking up all of the grass in the curves. We are now at the 90% mark, I believe. Yeah, that is gonna give us more than three wagons, isn't it? Alright, there goes our first load. Let's bring this to the fermenting plant. We have some more egg cartons to pick up. You go right there. Nothing to clean up yet. They seem to be happy, fairly happy actually. Yeah, 99%. Wonderful. And we just sold another load. This guy is gonna take the tour one more time, so that should bring us above the 100k. Oh, did I set this to chaff? Should be grass. Okay. Hey, voila. Unload that grass. Create me some more silage. Well, I'm gonna be right back once I have something else to show you. Need a bit more money and wrap up the grass field. Wonderful, we are back. It is a little bit later. I sent over some more water to the fertilization plant. We need more lime, we need more money. I'm actually really desperate right now. So that I decided to start a third income source. Namely, we are going to sell fertilizer. The way we're gonna do this is we're gonna pick up some manure. 59,000 liters for approximately 2,000 euros. And if we check, the fertilizer can be sold for 3,300, 1,000 liters. So that is going to be extremely profitable. And I think together with the silage, the lime and the eggs, we should be golden in order to be able to afford another industry the next episode. I'm not yet sure if it is going to be a field. That would be the preferred method. However, in order to do the field properly with the equipment I wish, I probably need close to a million bucks. So I thought in order to wrap up this episode, we could go ahead and actually sell some of these eggs. You can see I've collected quite a bit and we should now be able to strap these on. Actually, I'm not sure that took. There we go. Okay, uh, let's just hope that is going to work out. Let's check out where we can sell the eggs for the most. All right, actually all dropped below the 4k mark. So I'm not so sure. I might want to wait for another day. Anyhow, one more thing I wanted to show you is now that we have mown in the field, the nitrogen level is bad. pH value is still good, so we can probably leave that for another harvest. Nitrogen, of course, we take care with the fertilizer. So that's exactly what I'm going to do in order to get this all the way up to perfect again. At least I'm hoping that is what is going to happen. We shall see. Let me just quickly do the entire field manually. It will only take like three passes. And then at this point, we should be able to speed up time again. Hopefully get a better price for the eggs. And my next goal is actually to purchase another truck in order to be able to do my deliveries quicker. I can have one truck just responsible for the water and another one for the manure. And then we're just gonna ship like crazy madmen. This is the only way I see us getting somewhere at this point. So yeah, hopefully at the beginning of the next episode, I'm gonna be filthy stinking rich. Wonderful. With that out of the way, let's speed up time, see whether or not we can sell the eggs until this field is ready to harvest again. Oh, and of course, if you were curious about the yield, I got approximately four wagons out of it. So up from two and a half wagons, that is not a bad yield. And one more thing I almost forgot to mention is we paid back the loan already. However, we have no money. You know what, to wrap up this episode so I can do some more work in between the episodes, I'm actually gonna borrow some more money once again. 170k should be enough in order to purchase myself another truck. 
And this is gonna be oh so important. So we're gonna have one more of these guys. They actually did a pretty good job. Let's also spend some more money in order to paint it white. I just like that. We're gonna have one black and one white. So I'm gonna purchase that truck and now my only goal is going to be to ship some more stuff. I mean, we should have lots in the fermenter right now. 255,000 liters and then the fertilization plant. We can basically sell all the fertilizer we're making and instead we're bringing manure. And then we can of course also sell all of the lime we're getting. So you can see there is a source of income, but I don't want to bore you with the same stuff Every episode in the next one, I want to get into either a different business or into field work. We'll see how much money I can make before recording again. But with that out of the way, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.